Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link and don't forget to download the video after we finish immediately. Uh, today our topic is about the Muslims always claim when they debate Christians that the Quran says, and this is the answer they keep repeating, that Jesus is just the same as Adam. Now before we talk about this uh, topic, uh, we will first ask a few questions and see how the logic of Islam work. The Muslim, they consider Adam as a prophet. And from that point, immediately you will find that this is something silly even to believe in. You will find that the Muslims, they are not even using their brain, they are just copy-paste. Their prophet said that Adam is a prophet, so he's a prophet. But we don't want to ask ourselves, how somebody, he is the first man, he is a prophet? He's a prophet to who? Isn't it weird to believe in such a garbage? That the first man is a prophet, why did he prophesy? What is the prophecy of Adam? You see, when we call somebody a prophet, that's mean he been given a book and he is prophesying and God said to him, go and teach your people, etc. But that did not happen. So how he is a prophet? And remember that wife, she was exist in the time where Adam was living in heaven too. So here we go. Adam was there and Eve was there. Does that mean Eve is a prophet too? Both of them, they receive a message from God not to eat from that tree. So if that will make both prophet, that means Eve is the first prophet female. But the Muslim would never accept that. So Islam is a very silly cult who come with ideas which is coming from a silly person, they call him a prophet of God, and just because he says so, we believe so. It's not because it makes sense. Now, when the Muslim, they speak about Jesus, they quote for you always a verse from the Quran, chapter 3, verse number 59 says, Lu, the likeness of Jesus with Allah is, is, is as the likeness of Adam. He created him from dust, then he said to him, be, and he was. I mean, look how stupid this statement is. Proving that the one who made the Quran cannot be one person at least, or maybe he is a person suffering from hashish overdose. Because Allah did not create Adam by saying be. Nowhere in the Quran, if you go and read now, and we will do that, if we go and check the story of how Adam was created, we will find that Adam was created from mud. Allah, he fashioned mud, and then he breathed into the mud, and nowhere he said to him be and he was so this is another mistake in the Quran so let us take this statement step by step and show you how you see the Quran says if this book is not from Allah you will find a lot of contradictions yeah right all of it is a contradiction from the even the name of the Quran is a contradiction because Quran it's mean a reading how you can read something is not written. How silly. How you can read something. If you, if the Muslim, they want to say it me recitation, that would be stupid too, because recitation is not the same as reading. Qara'a is reading. Coming from the word qarra wa ra'a, which means it's an Aramaic word, qarra, he said, and ra'a, which means he saw. So he say what he saw. Which means he say what he read. So now, little examination for this statement here, and we will start with the first part. That the likeness of Jesus is the same as the likeness of Adam. He created him from dust, and then he said to him, be. Challenge. Where we can find that Allah said to Adam, be, and he was. And he was. That is a very silly because the Quran gives us different story in different place. Which of them is the correct? Let us read the Quran. And try not to laugh. And you know the, the funny, the Muslim, they say to us, the Quran, nobody can make Quran like this. I agree, nobody can make Quran like this. I mean, you have to be mentally ill to come with Quran. Does, does not 
fit with the Quran. I mean, a book does not match itself. Let us read. <clears throat> Chapter 15, verse number 29. Allah speak about how created Adam. Allah, he created the genie from fire. Now, this is a very funny creature. Nobody saw and nobody witnessed, but the Muslims believe in it. It's created from fire, but yet it can have sex with your wife. Actually, if you read my book, you will see that a guy, he is proving that his wife, she was sleeping with the genie because there, he saw a fire around her vagina bushes. In other way, the bushes around her vagina, and you know what I'm talking about, it, it, it caught in fire. And the reason for that, because she was having sex with the genie. I think what happened to the bushes of your wife, my friend, that you were having a cigarette there. And her bushes were very dry. But yet they believe in the Mr. Genie, who nobody saw, and Muhammad, he claimed one day he captured him, but he released him two seconds before his companion arrived. I mean, just wait, man, until they see him. And then Muhammad, he says in the Quran, supposedly Allah said to him, and remember, when the Lord said unto the angels, I'm creating a mortal out of putter, clay, and black mud altered. So when I have made him, and have breathed into him my spirit. Do you feel down prostrating yourself into him? So how Allah created Adam? He did not say to him be. He made mud. Then after the mud, he did not say be. The second step, it was he breathed into him. He breathed. And by the way, the translation is kind of funny, but we will let it go. And here you will find that the first one was, you know, uh, uh, taught uh, uh, anyone to bow down to a man, it was Allah. What kind of God he ordered the angels to bow down to a man? And yet the Muslim, they say that the Jibreel is a Holy Spirit. How Jibreel is an angel and Allah, he ordered all the angels to bow down to a man because they commit sin against Jibreel for they accuse him that he is going to do mischievement. So here you notice that even the verse in chapter 3 does not match itself for Allah did not create Adam as the Quran claim. So what we will do now? What we will do now is we will take into consideration that Allah is not consistent and this is Muhammad who is illiterate, ignorant, Arab Bedouin man who have no idea what he's talking about and he forgot what he said a week ago. Then we go to the other part of the verse. The likeness of Jesus with Allah. The likeness. It's very funny that we speak about the likeness, we don't speak about the differences. I can say the likeness of Jesus and me, he have a hand, I do have a hand. I can say the likeness of Allah, that he have hands, have five fingers, and I have a hand, have five fingers too. I can say the likeness of Allah, that he have a foot, and I have a foot. I can prove it, by the way. I know the Muslims are desperate for me to open my karma to show my foot, but uh, I'm afraid after that of, uh, 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 you know, uh, I will be accused that I'm driving the Muslims crazy. So the likeness, what about the differences? The Muslim, when you say to them, Jesus have no father, they say to you, Adam has no father. That is shown as the low IQ of the one who is answering. Because how Adam will have a father, you idiot, he is created just now from mud. He is not born. Every human born, every, every, every born human, he have a father. Except Jesus. Why? It's an answer Muslims cannot explain to us. The miracle of Jesus being born of a virgin, there's no need for it. 
if you if you ask me, I mean, uh, my mom and your mother, she can claim that she gave birth to you as virgin. There's no proof of it. You see, the purpose of a miracle is to show the power of the Almighty God, but this is cannot be shown. That this is cannot be even proven to be true. We believe in it. So, what the purpose of this? He's born with no father. It must be there is a reason. Muhammad he said in different hadith, "Kull ibn Adam in khatta." Every son of an Adam, he is a sinner. Based on this, Jesus is not the son of Adam. If we ask the Muslims, okay, Jesus is a son of who? What the Muslim will say? What a Muslim will say if we say to him, according to Islam, Jesus is a son of who? You will go mute? I will make it simple for you. The one who made my mother have me is my father. As simple as that. Regardless of who, you know, your mother, she is married to who or not married, she can be single too. Which means legal relationship or not, it doesn't matter. The one who step with her is the one who made you come to life. Because, because of them, both of them, they have sexual relationship, they had you. So who is the father of Jesus? Muslims, they have no answer. Okay, Jesus is coming from where? They say he's a miracle of God. Okay, a miracle of God. So Jesus is the miracle of God. He himself is the miracle of God. This is not only about miraculous birth. No, no. He is the miracle of God. And God is a miracle. Why he have no father? They have no answer. What that will prove to us? I mean, what the point? What the point? And why from all mankind there is only one person? He have no father. What about we make uh, Allah? He make us all, you know, born with no father, and that's it. What the purpose in the middle of nowhere? Suddenly, there is a person. He has no father. No answer. The stupid logic is consistent with the stupid answer and the stupid explanation. So now here, the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam. In which way? He said, and the Quran said, not me, and I'm quoting. He said to him, be, and he was. But guess what? Neither Adam, neither Jesus was created by be. If we go now and read the story of Jesus and the Quran, how Jesus, he came to existence. You will see that Allah did not say be to Jesus, and he was. Jesus, he, according to the Quran, he was the word of Allah sent down to Mary and then Allah he breathed into her vagina and he made her pregnant. Where is B? If Allah he said to Jesus be and he was then there is no need to send your words and there is no need to breathe into her and then Jesus will be the child of Mary. There is no need of all of this just you said be that's it it's over. So here we find two mistakes about be and he was for both Adam and Jesus. Allah did not create Adam by saying be, and Allah did not create Jesus by saying be. So how Allah he says such a thing? Let us go. the Quran how Allah created Jesus according to the Quran if we can use the word created and Mary the daughter of Amran here you will find something very silly and very stupid too Allah, he is God, but yet he do not know the last name of Mary, or let us say the father, who is the father of Mary. I mean, how silly, how stupid is that? You see, the Christians been accused of corrupting their book, but why they want to change the name of the father of Mary? The answer is very simple. Muhammad the fool, he thought 
that the same father of Moses, he is the same father of Mary. This is why you notice that Umran is a father of Moses too. And he is the father of Aaron too. And he is the father of Mary. And guess what? Muhammad in different verse in the Quran, he says, Ya Ukhda Harun, O sister of Aaron. When the when when the Jews get him busted, they said to him, But this is not a true. There's many hundreds of years before be between Mary and between Aaron. How he can be her brother? Muhammad he come to a solution. He said, Ah, oh, uh, at that time they used to call them by the good ones of their si and sister. Good ones. What about Moses? Why Aaron? The fact is, if you go in the Old Testament, you will find that the Old Testament confirm that the father of Moses and Aaron and Mary is a person. His name is Umram, not Umran. So Muhammad did not even quote the name correctly, which means the last letter is M, not N, min, M from mountain. So Muhammad, he know, he learned that there is a woman, her name is Maryam. She is the sister of Moses and she is the sister of Aaron. So the fool, he thought that this is the same woman. She is the sister of Moses. And this is why he keeps saying Mary, the daughter of Amran, because this is the father of uh, Moses and this is the father of Aaron. Silly, stupid prophet got himself busted. Then he continued. And Mary, the daughter of Amran, whose body was ch uh, chaste, which means she was a virgin. Therefore, we breathe therein something of our spirit. Oh, boy. But in the other verse, he says, we said be, and he was. He said, we said be, and he was. Here it says, we breathe. And by the way, the translation here is a fiction lie. They say they're in. In fact, it says, when fi he, fi he goes back to her vagina. Where they're in. Where Allah, he breathed into Mary. Any Muslim can tell me? I will give you options in her nose, in her mouth, or in her private part. The Quran says, Fi farjiha. In here, vagina. So what do you mean therein? But they are ashamed to say the word and try to be uh, cover up. You know, Muslims are kuffar. Kuff, kuffar means the one who cover up. So they are kuffar. They try always to cover up the truth even about their book. So their translation is a fiction translation in order not to show you the stupid statement in the Quran that Allah is a vagina blower. Now going back, where is the statement where Allah created Jesus by B and he was? He did not create him by saying B. As you see, there was a word sent down to Mary, that is Jesus, the word of God. And then that word, after received by Mary, Allah, he breathed. Which means, in this process here, the breathing is to give the nature, the new nature of this word. And here, remember, if we ask the Muslims, is the word of God is holy? They will say yes. Okay. The word of God is holy. So is Jesus. Chapter 4, verse 171. Somebody saying, you are a liar, let me call you right now. Hey, call me right now. Who is holding you? The Muslim Abdul, who keeps saying, let me call you right now, who is holding you? Call me. I advise you to bring your dad or adult with you. Read with me this... Uh, verse and 
We will use most popular translation used by the Abdul. O oh, people of the book, commit no excuse in your religion, nor say Allah ought but the truth. Christ Jesus, here by the way, you notice something, maybe in the translation doesn't show, but uh, uh, always remember this. The word Jesus never appear in the Quran. The name appear in the Quran is Isa, and Muhammad, he called the wrong name. Until now, until now, you cannot find a simple Christian in the Middle East, call him Isa. Never, ever. We call him in Arabic, Yeshua, which is coming from the Hebrew word, Yeshua. The son of Mary was, and this is here between two brackets, take it off, a messenger of Allah. So he was what? He is a messenger. Okay. And he is his word. He is the word of God. Is Adam the word of God? No. Adam is mud, dust with water, fashioned as a clay in the shape of a human being and then he breathed into him and you remember we explained to you where it says and Allah he made the, the man ever hasty if we go to the interpretation we will find like in Ibn Kathir as an example that even Adam Allah after he made him a mud and he breathed into him he asked Allah for, to finish him before the sunset So he did not say to him, "Be," and he was. Let us let us prove that because the Muslim they might say, "Oh, where you get this from?" You know the Muslims. I mean, you know them. Don't say something and you don't show it. They will make a drama about it. Chapter seventeen, verse number eleven. And the man was ever hasty. Now, if we go and, fi and find an interpretation for this uh, uh, thing, 17.11, and this is Ibn Kathir, and uh, always take into consideration that Ibn Kathir does not give really an act like a, tra a translation I'm talking now. It's not true. Hello? Hello. Hello. Yes. Sorry, Christian. Please, um, I'm a Christian. I, I was watching your YouTube live. I'm from Nigeria. All right. So I think uh, live. Um, I don't know if I'm watching the, the live or it is delayed. It's all right. I'm watching. Um, sorry, sir. Don't be, don't be angry with me. Let me. The Jesus is same as Adam. Yeah. It's I'm broken. I'm watching live now. So I was trying to call. Uh, from the sky, but it's okay, my friend. Go so to the topic. What do you want to say? I wanted to say that uh, I love what you're doing, and I've been learning a lot from you, and I've been sharing the word as much as I can with my pastors and fellow Muslims. All right, my friend. I'm from Nigeria, actually. Well, I'm ha happy that you are from Nigeria. Listen to us, please. Just uh, wait until we finish the topic. If you want to say something. Um, I appreciate okay. that. Okay, let us finish the topic. Anything else you want to say? No, no. Okay, no, thank no. you very much. Guys, don't call me. Don't call me to say thank you, please, because that will disturb our topic, will not help. I thank you, all of you. I thank the Lord for having you. Now, read with me. This is Ibn Kathir, not me speaking, because the Muslim, they might say, oh, Christian prince is a liar. Yeah, actually, they say always, right? It doesn't matter what you show them. And the man was ever hasty. Salman al Farisi, Ibn Abbas, and Ibn Abbas mentioned the story of Adam. When he wanted to get up before the soul, his soul reached his feet. When the soul was breathed into him, it entered his body from head downward. When it reached his brain, he sneezed, Hachu! And he said, Alhamdulillah, here we go. Adam, he speak Arabic from the first day. He's not even finished yet. I mean, he learned Arabic before the Arabic is, is exist. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> then he says, and Allah said, May your Lord have mercy on you. I mean, Allah, he says to my Adam, may your Lord. I mean, who are you? Aren't you your, his Lord? Eh, silly story. 
and then Adam when he uh, when it reached his eyes he opened them and when it reached his body and limbs it started to stare at them and wonder he wanted to get up before it reached his feet but he could not he said oh Lord make it happen before the night comes so where is the he said be and he was the guy is so worried that Allah will not finish him before the sunset he is so worried please Allah finish it before before what before the night comes so Islam is a silly religion in one verse they say to us that Allah he said to Adam be and he was in the other verse says that it took long process and even Adam was worried not to be finished before the sunset here I'm not going to ask how serious question the story is because how Adam in the world he knew the Sun is going to set this guy is not even finished yet but who dare to question Muhammad city stories Muhammad he says city story it's a true story He is a liar. If even if he is a black, he can make a new name. He can call me into a second. Is that the guy who call and he curse uh, Sam Shamu? <laughs> my friend, my friend, listen. We challenge big shakes. Big shakes. They don't dare even to show up. Who are they, those kids? And if you are blocked because you are an insulting and you are a filthy person, still you can make a new name and you can call me. So stop lying. As you see here, Adam was not created by B. And even after he breathed into him, Adam is still saying to Allah, finish me before the, before the sun set. Finish me. So still he is doing the creation. Finish me, Allah. Now here, don't ask me to change the topic, please. Human memory uh, uh, store, uh, stored in tail bone, not who said to you that the human memory are stored in tail bone? Hmm. Anyway. So, if you if we if we study your Islam carefully, we will find that every statement Muhammad he said is nothing but a poopoo. Muhammad is not a prophet as much he is a poopoo maker. Going back here, so I have made him and I have breathed into him my spirit. So what he made first. He made the mud. What was next? He breathed into him his spirit. Hmm. I don't know if you notice when something here, something very fishy. I breathed into him my spirit. What is that? He did not say, I breathe into him. You see, uh, the translation is not too much accurate, actually. It says, And I breathe into him from my spirit. Here, you need to ask yourself, do even Muhammad knows what does that mean? Absolutely not. Muhammad is a person who do not know what he's talking about. When a bunch of people, they came to Muhammad and they asked him, what is a spirit? What is the spirit? What Muhammad he said?
chapter 17, verse number 85. They are asking thee concerning the spirit. Say the spirit is by the command of my Lord. By the way, it doesn't say that. It says, min amri rabbi, which means from, 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 from my God. It is something I have to do with my God. And you do not know much. So where is the answer? Still there is no answer. So that proof that the one who is making the Quran is not only an idiot, he is silly and he is not spiritual. He do not even know the definition of a word meaning spirit. What spirit mean? Until now, no Muslim can explain to us what spirit is. Because as you see, even their God could not give an answer. So now they ask you, what is the spirit? And you say to them, the spirit is from Allah. And, uh, and, and you do not know but a little? What is the answer? Well, they are asking you because suppose they do not know except at all. You know, if I ask, if I ask a person, let us get rid of this kid. If we ask, if I ask you a question, and I want to learn from you, and then you say to me, "You know that all? Well, what is the answer? You know what I mean?" How you how you are God yet you do not know how to answer okay you are Allah and you say to them you have little knowledge okay we know that this is why we are asking you brother sister according to the story in the Quran you have a little knowledge and it is proven hey Abdul we okay Allah have a lot of knowledge where it is. I mean, I can say you have little knowledge too. The question is still not answered. They are asking you about the spirit. What is the spirit? Where in this verse is the definition of the spirit? Madness. This is an answer. So I go to somebody and ask him, "What is zucchini?" You say zucchini from the from from the from the knowledge of my Allah, and you have little knowledge. Well, nice to meet you, zucchini, Master. I'm asking you, what is zucchini? You say to me, it's from the knowledge of Allah. So here you notice that Muhammad and Islam does not give an answer for Muhammad himself is a, is a, is a counterfeit. He is not a prophet. I mean, how silly. You don't even know what the spirit is. Now. Muhammad is very consistent in one thing. In making poo-poo. This is the only thing he is consistent with. Read. I heard the messenger of Allah saying, the wind is a, the blessing of Allah. Doesn't say that. Fast translation. It doesn't say that. In Arabic it says, min Allah. The wind is from the spirit of Allah, not from the blessing of Allah, you liar. Where is the word blessing? But because this is stupid, they switch the word ruh, which means spirit, into blessing. Since when? I mean, the Muslims, they replace anything they don't like with a blessing. Allah and the angels, they pray on Muhammad, they say blessing on Muhammad. Here, Allah, the, the wind, the wind is of a blessing of Allah. And, and look how, how we can show you how stupid the translation is. How you say it is from the blessing of Allah, and then at the end you say, and seek Allah refugee by its evil. <laughs> Oh boy, you just said that the wind is from the blessing of Allah, and then you say, seek refugee by Allah from its evil. 
So the blessing of Allah is evil. I mean, the one who is translating the hadith, he is a certified donkey. But yet the one who said the hadith is a bigger donkey. Because look at this. I will change the word. It's not from blessing of Allah. It's from the spirit of Allah. This is what it says in Arabic. Sometimes it bring his mercy and sometimes it bring his adjustment. When you experience it, uh, do not revile it, but beg Allah is good and seek Allah refuge against its evil. Like, hold on. How it is from Allah, how it is a, a punishment and how it is evil. Is the, is, is the punishment of Allah is evil? Do you understand me, guys? Is the punishment of Allah is evil? Do you know even what evil mean? Obviously, Muhammad, he do not know what, the, what, what, what he just did. He just made the biggest poo, poo ever. Because you just said that Allah punishment is evil. It's not justice. You see, when, if we ask the Muslims, is the punishment of Allah is a just? He will say, yes, absolutely, brother. Okay, so why Muhammad saying it is evil? Evil is not justice. Evil is a world connected to the devil. Isn't it the Quran say the Christians and the Jews they are evil doers? Hey, Allah is evil doers too. Here we go, the proof in the front of you. But the important about this hadith here that Muhammad he said min Allah. the wind is from the spirit of Allah who is the who is the one who can explain that to us who is the scholar who can explain such a stupid statement how the wind is from the spirit of Allah Any Muslim? Stupid statement. Because if you say that the wind is from the Spirit of Allah, that means the Spirit of Allah is the one who created the wind. And that means the Spirit of Allah is the Creator. But guess what? Allah in Islam is not a spirit. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, this guy Muhammad, he is the same as somebody. Uh, he, he he went inside a spinning machine before he go to this, you know, like, I don't know if you've ever been uh, uh, trained as a pilot. Uh, 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 me, myself, when I, like in early age, I joined to be a pilot. This is like, uh, uh, and there is a spinning machine, you know, and in the spinning machine, you go in and when you get out, really feel dizzy. And this is exactly how Muhammad is. So you are saying to me that Allah is not a spirit. And then you say to me that the wind is from the spirit of Allah. That's mean the wind they created by the spirit of Allah. But if Allah is not a spirit, that's mean now we have a new God. Who can create and he is a spirit. Any Abdul? Stupidity versus stupidity versus stupidity. The more he talk, the more he do poo poo. But now we notice something very important. That the Spirit of Allah, it cannot be Jibreel. The Muslim, they say to us that Jibreel is a Ruh Al-Qudus, the Holy Spirit. Unless the Muslim, they want to agree that Jibril is the one who make the wind. <laughs> that would be funny. So Jibril is a partner in the creation of the heaven and the earth, including the wind. And here you notice 
that Muhammad saying that wind come with torture and he is saying don't install the wind have you ever heard of such a stupid statement what do you mean don't install the wind I mean how smart such a statement is don't install the winds how somebody can insult the wind? I mean, is, a, is the wind is a person we can insult? You know, when I start learning English, and then I learned that farting, it says break wind. So I was wondering, like, the English is really funny. How you can break the winds, man? Break wind. I mean, English is really funny. Break wind. Okay. In this scenario here, obviously, Muhammad was not making a statement as much he was breaking winds. So he claimed that the winds is coming from the the spirit of Allah, not from Allah, which nobody can explain how that can be. And then you cannot curse the wind. Because it's coming from the Spirit of Allah. What does that mean? It's a holy wind. And then you have to beg Allah and seek refuge by Allah from the evil of the wind. Let it go. Then if we go to a different story, <clears throat> chapter 12, verse number 87. The chapter of Yusuf or Joseph. He said, Go, O my son, and as as greeting concerning Joseph and his brother. And then he says to them, Don't and despair not of the Spirit of Allah. So don't give up in the Spirit of Allah. Question. What is that? What is that spirit? It's called the spirit of Allah, which if you give up in it, you lose your salvation. Which is the spirit of Allah which can save you? What does that mean? Any Muslim? So now we learn that the Spirit of Allah is where the wind is coming from. The Spirit of Allah is the one where salvation is coming from. What is that? Do we have any Muslim have an answer? What is the Spirit of Allah which is going to save you? Hmm? The only way to accept this if if God himself is a spirit. Correct, guys? As the Bible teach. The Holy Spirit is with us. The Holy Spirit save us. And even even Jesus says the one who cursed the Holy Spirit, there's no forgiveness for him. So it's extremely uh, uh, important. So, but the Muslims don't believe that God is a spirit. So what Allah spirit? Spirit of Allah. 
this spirit this is a unique spirit it's called the spirit of Allah and this is the only one can save you so it's not Allah it's spirit of Allah will save you it cannot be an angel because angel cannot save you your hope is always hope in who on God or in an angel What do you think guys where is the hope is coming from does it come from an angel hope of salvation is it from an angel or it's from God so what is spirit is the spirit of Allah <laughs> and why we should not give up in the spirit of Allah and why the spirit of Allah is going to save us let us go to the other verse in the Quran now how many of you remember what chapter we are reading from let us see if you guys are following with me what chapter I'm reading from? Anyone remember? This is verse number 87, but what chapter? Chapter 12, thank you. Chapter 12, verse number 87. Now let us compare between the Spirit of Allah here and Jesus being the Spirit of Allah in different verse in the Quran. Shall we? Uh, let us go. In Quran chapter 4 verse number 17, uh, sorry, 171, it says that the Messiah is his spirit. Spirit from him. In fact, it's a spirit proceeding from him. Let us go and read together. Hello? Hello? If you don't talk, I will hang up. All right. Potato. It says here, as you read with me, that the Spirit of Allah is the Spirit of Jesus. Jesus is a messenger of Allah. Jesus is His Word. He is the Word of Allah, which sent down to Mary. So before Jesus, He became a messenger. He was a Word of God. And then, Spirit proceeding from him, which mean never disconnected, it is the Spirit of God. This is why you see it says proceeding. So Jesus is a man, Jesus is the Word, Jesus is the Spirit, three in one, yet the stupid Quran say, say no Trinity. But the same verse proved to us the Trinity. Actually, here, the Quran, it looked like he is trying to copy John chapter 1, verse number 1 and verse number 14. In the beginning, it was the Word, and the Word was with God. Okay, he is his Word. Word of who? Supposedly, Word of God. And then the Word became a flesh, that Jesus become a man. And then, he is, in the same time, a spirit proceeding from him. So within him, this man, he have the Spirit of God. Yet he says, say no Trinity. But the important here is that Jesus is a Spirit proceeding from him. Actually, we have more reference to prove. 
In many places, including the Hadith, Muhammad he called Jesus Ya Ruhullah. Ya Ruhullah. And we can show that actually. Uh, uh, this is uh, as an example Tafsir Ibn Kathir. In Arabic. Notice in Arabic you can find what I'm going to say, but you cannot find it in English. Just put that into consideration. If you go to chapter of Al-Ma'idah, verse number 112, you will not find it in the English translation. You will find it in the Arabic version. This is why I always warn you, don't believe in the Muslim translation for any book, for they lie and they hide. All right? Here it says, Let us read together. A disciple of Jesus, they said to him, Ya Ruhullahi wa Kalimatahu. The disciple, they say, to who? To the Messiah. Ya Ruhullahi wa Kalimatahu. O oh, Spirit of Allah, O oh, the Word of Allah. Speaking to who? Speaking to Isa. This is the book of Ibn Kathir at, at Tafsir al Azim, page number 229. As you see in the front of you, I will post even the reference in the text. So, any Muslim, he challenge, I challenge any Muslim to say I'm lying. So, according to Muslims. Jesus is the Spirit of Allah. Actually, there's a hadith where Muhammad, he said the same. He said that the, 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 the disciple of Jesus, they will say to, to Jesus, O oh, the Ruh of Allah. Hello. You again, what do you want to say? Uh, hello. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. What do you want to say? Uh, I want to ask you, uh, why do you every day attack Islam? It's fun. I mean, I like to speak about stupid ones. And I cannot find more stupid oh. than your prophet. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Anything else? No. What do you think? Why well, you don't answer me? What do you think about your God, Allah, uh, your God, Muhammad, saying that the Messiah is Ruhullah? Do you agree when he said that he is Ruhullah? What Ruhullah mean? How the Messiah can be Ruhullah? Why Muhammad is not Ruhullah? Why Adam is not called Ruhullah in Islam? Why only the Messiah is called Ya Ruhullah, which means, oh, the Spirit of Allah, or oh, the Word of because Allah? Because he's, he's a spirit. He's, he's the chosen one. Okay. He's a spirit. Okay, hold on. Uh, so, so, but, 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 but this is mean, but Adam is not called Ya Ruhullah, correct? Yes. Okay, Muhammad is not called Ya Ruhullah. Yes, okay. Jesus not also. So, so why, why Jesus was called Ya Ruhullah? Where does it say that? It's in the front of you, on the screen. What is it, Hadith? I can show you the Hadith too, but this is Ibn Kathir here. Oh, I don't care what Ibn Kathir says. Oh, you don't care? Oh, okay. Well, so if I show you your Prophet saying, Oh, uh, Spirit of Allah, uh, uh, you are going to leave Islam? No. So why are you asking me to, to show you then? I mean, what the point? So Show me, show me where it says Jesus is the Spirit. Show you where Jesus is a spirit. Yes, mm. Okay, so if I show you that Jesus is a spirit, what that would do? Nothing. So why are you asking me to show me? Because I mean, uh, you are challenging. I, okay, I'm saying to you, if it is true, you are saying still this is nothing? No. Really? Why nothing? You just say that uh, Moses, you just agreed that Moses is not spirit of Allah. Yes. Okay. So, if I show you that Jesus is Spirit of Allah, what that will do? You said nothing. Why? Muhammad is not Spirit of Allah. Uh, There's many things that, that is the Spirit of Allah. Jibreel no, 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 it's nothing. I, I, just saw, I just asked you, you said no. I asked you, is Muhammad Spirit of Allah? You said no. Is Adam Spirit of Allah? You said no. And you said no. even Jesus is not Spirit of Allah, correct? No. Show me a hadith. Okay, I'm asking you now. I want you to confirm. If there is anyone in Islam is called the Spirit of Allah, 
Yes. Who? Jibreel. Jibreel is called the Spirit of Allah where? In the Quran. It says uh, we send the Spirit on Muhammad to uh, reveal the Quran. Okay, but it doesn't say that this is Jibreel. There is nowhere in the Quran say that this is Jibreel. Can you show me one verse says that this is Jibreel? It just said we send the Spirit, right? Yeah, but it says that the Spirit uh, revealed the Quran to Muhammad. Okay, I will go with you. So, the one who brings the Word of God is the Spirit of God. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Okay. Does that mean Jesus is the one who brought the Quran? No. So, why why your prophet, he says that he is the Spirit of Allah? Tell me where it says. Here we go. This is the Hadith. It says that Jesus is the Spirit of Allah. Let us read the translation. Hmm. I like it when you laugh at your prophet. Okay. I'm serious. You like? I like it when you laugh at your prophet. Hmm. Read carefully. You better go to Jesus, the Spirit of Allah and His Word. Guys, does it say that? Are you laughing at your prophet now? Are you there? Okay. <laughs> So we prove that Jesus is the Spirit of Allah. Did we show you that the Hadith says that the Spirit of Allah is where the wind is coming from? Guys, didn't we show you in the Hadith that Muhammad, he said that the wind is created by the Spirit of Allah? And here Muhammad saying that the Spirit of Allah is Jesus and the word of Allah is Jesus and this is his name this is his title Muhammad is not the spirit of Allah Adam is not the spirit of Allah Moses is not the spirit of Allah none of them is the spirit of Allah save Jesus listen kid if you if you, if you laugh again I will I will block you actually let me block you already I have no time for kids you see, I'm trying my best to have a scholar to debate with us, not those kids. Because most of them, they say, look, you are debating a bunch of idiots. All of you are idiots, including your God. And nobody can debate me. When I say nobody, I mean it. And I am here to challenge. You better go to Jesus, the Spirit of Allah, and His Word. And the funny Muhammad, he claimed that he is higher than Jesus. But Jesus is the Spirit of Allah. <laughs> Hilarious, isn't it? If we go to the Hadith, this is Sahih Muslim, Hadith number 28a. Muhammad, he said, there is no God but Allah. He is the one and there is no one associate with him. Now, that's funny. How there is no one associate with him? And then you say that Jesus is the spirit of Allah. And how you add your name in the Shahada next to his name, that is associating with God, associating the name of a man with the name of God. When the Muslim, they say Allah and his prophet knows best, you associated the knowledge of a man with the knowledge of God. He said, there's no God but Allah, he is one, and there's no, no one associate with him. That is, that's Muhammad is his servant and his messenger, and that is Christ, is servant and the son of his servant girl, translated as slave girl. And he is the Christ, his word, which, this translation by the way, which communicated to Mary and his spirit. Hold on. Jesus is the servant of Allah. We just heard this Abdul saying that 
Jibreel is the spirit of Allah. What is the proof that Jibreel is the spirit of Allah? He said to me that Allah, he said that he sent the Quran with, the, with his spirit. And that means Jibreel is Jesus. According to this, that will make you the same as Jehovah's Witnesses. What a stupid cult. Uh, guys, are we are we saving re reference? Are we saving reference? Because later you might ask me where you you know say this hadith. Can you show it to us again? Right? Don't, don't call. I'm not going to take more calls. Enough for kids. Huh? Later you might ask me where we can find this hadith. So here you see that there is a chain of contradictions. One, it says that the wind is created by the Spirit of Allah. One, it says that Jesus is the Spirit of Allah. And he is not only his Spirit, he is the Word of Allah. And Muhammad, he called Jesus by name as title that he is his Spirit. And this is consistent in many hadith, which is Sahih hadith. How Jesus is just a man, but yet he is the word of God. Because if all of us are created the same as Adam, that means I am the word of God too. And if if uh, if all of us created the same as Adam, well, I am the spirit of God too. So why only Jesus was called his word and his spirit? If all of us are the word of God and the spirit of God, that means Muhammad is a stupid silly. Are we following, guys? Because that will not be unique to Jesus. If this is not unique about Jesus, then how you can call Jesus such a name? Like the Muslim, they call Musa Kalimullah. Kalimullah which means the one who spoke to Allah. Allah spoke to him directly. If everybody speak to Allah directly, that means Musa should not deserve that title. You know what I mean? That means this is a stupid title. You call him Karimullah because supposedly no one else spoke to Allah except him. Okay. You call Jesus that he is his word and he is his spirit. Because of what? Obviously because he is the only one. He is the word of Allah and he is the spirit of Allah. Otherwise, if all of us, we are the word of Allah and the spirit of Allah, that means Muhammad is a stupid and he is maniac. Are we following people? If there is anyone that understand what I'm saying? When we call somebody a champion, it means he's a champion. Not everybody is a champion, right? When we call somebody, he is an angel. That means he is one of his kind. He's an angel. Okay, not we are not an angel. So when we call Jesus such a title and say he is the word of Allah and he is his spirit. He is his word and he is his spirit. You see here, you say his spirit, not a spirit from him only. He is his spirit. Am I the spirit of Allah? The Muslim, they will say no. Is Muhammad the spirit of Allah? They will say no. Only Jesus is his spirit. You see it? So Islam is not is nothing but a collection of uh, you know like I don't know if you ever live in a village, you will see that the, the villagers, they collect the poop of the donkeys, the cows, and they use it later to make bread to, uh, to cook in it, you know, as a fuel. Actually, it's very good fuel. The fire will go crazy. Muhammad is nothing but a poop maker, not collector. He make poop, and he don't look behind him. He think he have cake behind In one side he says Jesus is the same as Adam. In other side he says no. 
Jesus is the only one is the word of God and he is the only one is the spirit of God. In other side, he says the spirit of God is the one who created the wind. In other side, he says the spirit of God is the one who sent the books. In other side, he said the spirit of God is holy. So how Adam is the similarity the same as Jesus, you idiot? So by the nature, they are not the same. Because as you see, Jesus was a word of God before he became a man. Adam never was a word of God. Adam was dust, mud, and then he breathed into him. Jesus was the Word of God, which means he was in heaven before he came down to earth. The Word of God sent down to Mary. So what Jesus was, before he became a man, he was the Word of God. Where? In heaven. If we ask the Muslims, is the Word of God the created? They will say no. That means Jesus never been created. If the Word of God is B, and he was, that means a stupid statement because Allah did not say be and he was after that he breathed into Mary are we following all what you need to do when you uh, study Islam try to trace the poop of Muhammad he make poop everywhere like this guy is very easy to trace him If we ask the Muslims, who is the father of Jesus? They say, uh, God made him without father. So who is the father of Jesus? That means God, his father. He is born. He is not created from mud. So the verse in the Quran saying the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam. That's a stupid statement because Adam was not born. And Jesus not created from dust. And this is the, in the front of us. This is Muhammad himself explaining where Jesus is coming from. Do you see anywhere it says he was mud? What mud? So the argument of Jesus being the same as Adam, not only silly, it is extremely stupid. And actually, Muhammad, he deserve a prize of his stupidity. They are asking thee concerning the spirit. Say the spirit is from the command of my Lord. Well, thank you for the answer. I mean, what is the answer? This is an answer of somebody who has no answer. If we copy the same statement, we will find the same story is in the Hadith. In the Hadith. People, they ask Muhammad, you know, the, I like it when people ask Muhammad the questions because he do poopoo -poo immediately. They ask Muhammad the same question as we see in the Quran. Read carefully. And who is the one always behind the, the Muhammad getting busted? The Jews. That's why Muhammad, he hate them. Uh, the Quraysh say to the Jews, give us something so we can ask this man, which means we can get him busted. They say to him, I'll ask him about the ruh, which means the spirit. <laughs> so they ask him about the ruh. So Allah Most High revealed, they ask you concerning the ruh. Say the ruh is one of the things of the knowledge of Allah. <laughs> Unbelievable. How beautiful the answer. I mean, they are asking you what is the ruh. You say to them, it's from the knowledge of Allah. We are Allah. I mean, the guy is answering is Allah. So what do you mean from the knowledge of Allah? Allah is saying to them, say to them, the, the, the ruh is from the knowledge of Allah. Where's the answer? I mean, have you ever heard of a silly story like this?
And look here, Muhammad, he cannot stop doing poo poo. Look what he said. I don't know if you can notice with me how big the poo poo in this story here. And by the way, this is Sahih, and this is can be found in Sahih Muslim, Sahih Bukhari too, not only in a Turmudi. Muhammad he says, they ask him about the knowledge of Allah. He says, if the sea were ink for the word of my Lord, surely the sea would be exhausted before the word of my Lord be finished. What does that mean? Chapter 18, verse number 109 in the Quran. How silly is that? So why the why Muhammad is the last prophet? If the words of Allah never finish and the sea will be exhausted if it's in ink before Allah finished talking. Allah is talking. Never stop. So how Muhammad can be the last prophet? And how we can contain the words of Allah in a page, in a, in a book can be printed by half ounce of ink. Obviously, this is a stupid statement, but nothing new. Muhammad is the champion of this. But I find it very hilarious how Muhammad, he answered the question without answering. Brother, I challenge you, brother, to tell me what the spirit means, brother. Hey, brother, I got an answer right now from Allah. He said to me that only Allah know what the spirit. This is the answer. Only Allah knows the spirit, what it is. They're asking you what is the spirit. Have you ever heard of a stupidity can beat that? I ask you what is zucchini you say to me only Allah know what is zucchini and who is the one is answering Allah it's not Muhammad Muhammad is saying to them what Allah said to him to tell them I mean this is the answer from Allah say to them brother I am only knows what is the spirit okay what does that mean <laughs> I mean this is knowledge man Allah knows Allah knows okay Allah knows what give me the answer to see if Allah knows or not they are they are challenging you what is the spirit do you know what even the spirit is what kind of a prophet I mean have you ever heard of a prophet and a religion they cannot even give definition for what is the spirit you do not know I think, yeah, I think when they ask Allah this question, he was Abbas and he was a driving. So he said, I cannot read now. I cannot answer you now because I'm driving. <laughs> anyway, guys, I just wanted to share this with you. Actually, we can share a lot more of issues. You know, this is we can we can give endless reference of stupid things. Muhammad, he says, which is. Proving him to be an idiot and he do not know what he's talking about. He do not know what is the word of God mean. He do not know what the spirit of God mean. And he called Jesus the spirit of God. He called him the word of God. But yet he says he the same as Adam. But Adam is not the spirit of God. He is not the word of God. And Adam is not created by being. Neither Jesus. So the whole story is a collection of stupidity. And my friend, at the end of the day, garbage in, garbage out. Somebody saying Indonesian Abdul, he want to debate you. Okay, so you want to call me now? What his name? Give me his name. So I allowed him to call me. And Indonesian Abdul wanna be wanna call me. That's really wonderful. Okay, here we go. My Skype is open. The guy from Indonesia only, please call me. And please have mercy on me. I am weak. As you know. Okay, this guy is a Christian from Indonesia. I got too, too many messages from Indonesia of Muslims leaving Islam, which is wonderful.
What the what the name of this guy from Indonesia when he beat me? Anyone? Where is the guy? All the messages I see from Indonesia, they are from Christians or ex-Muslims. And by the way, like my my uh, videos became extremely popular in Indonesia, and uh, uh, you know I showed you just a few days ago where somebody sent me a link saying that this is a very famous uh, news blog or uh, you know news website talking about Christian prince. Some of the Muslims, they get upset because it's, it's uh, the title says number one Indonesian newspaper. I don't know. This is what they said to me. I'm not from Indonesia. Regardless if it's one number one or number two or number 15. I mean, if it's number even 10 or even 8 or 5, still this is the biggest Islamic country. And yet not even a single Muslim of you, Muslims, Abdul, from Indonesia, dare to stand up and call me. Where are, where is your scars? Why you don't bring me this Zakir Naik so we can take him for a snack? I guarantee you that Zakir Naik will not handle 15 minutes with me. Actually, Zakir Naik is a certified mule. Is the easiest one to debate. Brother and sister, I did example the other person is named Christian Prince, and you will always attack the Christian Prince. And the other guy, I don't know that. But what what he said, nobody knows. I mean, there's no answer. It's just a stupid talk. Jihad Ibn Abbas, I am from Indonesia. No, you are not from Indonesia. You are a liar. I will prove it. Yes, Abdul, you are having orgasm. Seventy years orgasm. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Before he called, he said to me, Call me donkey, enemy of Allah, Yahmar, which means you don't, I am from Indonesia. Wallahi, call me. And then after we let him call, he start having orgasm on the. Did you hear the sound of the devil? They don't dare to debate me. You know, this is, this, they are possessed. Did you hear the sound? Did you hear the sound? I mean, those people are really weird. They cannot answer me. If you think you can, you are dreaming, my friend. You see, actually, you cannot find one Muslim scholar there to have his Skype open. I will call them. Find me the Muslim scholar who is having the courage to call to, to open his uh, Skype. Yes, yes. Muhammad. Yeah, hello. Yes, Muhammad. How are you? Yeah, so um do you want to discuss the ruh? You're yeah. discussing about the ruh. Yeah, your prophet they ask him what is the ruh he said? It's, it's from the, the knowledge ruh. from Allah. Okay, what does that mean? What is the answer? Yeah, so these these certain things about the ruh we, we can't it's also, it's unexplainable to our mind. We won't be able to comprehend it. So that's the revelation that came down. That's, um, really, that's, really, that's very funny because you Muslim, you keep saying to me the ruh is Jibril, the ruh is Jibril. Suddenly, uh, suddenly nobody can explain. So is he Jibril or he is not explained or cannot be explained? A second ago you said it cannot be explained, but uh, previously I spoke to you. You said to me Allah sent the Quran with the ruh. No, so so when they're asking the what's the uh, what's the ruh, like they're asking about the soul, like you know, why is it made of, why is it? So mm -hmm. they're asking about the substances. Is that the no, main no, no, thing my that friend? First of all, was. first of all, the word ruh is the same used for the breed. You Muslims claim that this is ruh, ruh al-Qudus, correct? The word, yeah, the same word. Yeah. No, no, no. The the word the road uh, the word ruh for a human being is uh, nafs. You want to show you from the Quran? Nafs is a soul. Ruh is a spirit. Uh, 
Um, yeah, yeah, Ruz, yeah, spirit, yeah. Okay, so the ruh is a spirit, the nafs is a soul. So now they are asking him about the ruh, not about the soul. And they are not asking him how it's created. It doesn't matter what they are asking. If this is, if this is nobody knows is save Allah. So why you Muslim, they say to us that this is Jibreel? I'm sure ruh is also used for, um, for the soul as well. Okay, well, my friend. If this is true, that means Allah is a, is a, is making a, a too much confusing a confusion because it cannot be ruh for a human in the same time. Nobody knows about it except Allah. Because if I have ruh, you know, simply I have a life. If ruh is just a soul, I have life. This is what soul mean. I mean, that's it's very simple to to give definition. Why Allah cannot tell us what is ruh, and and why it's hard to explain. I mean, it's hard for Allah. No, it's our human mind can't comprehend okay. how to like, But as you see, no, no, that's not true. That's not true. Uh, uh, Allah can speak to your human mind, and as He speak in the whole Quran, Allah have time to speak about the ant speaking to the ants. Allah have time to tell us about Suleiman is standing over his stick and he did not die because he have he died, but he's he's standing, nobody notice. Allah have time to tell us about the flying carpet of of uh, Suleiman. Uh, Allah have time to tell us uh, about many crazy stuff. But he have no time to answer such a very important question, a spiritual question. What is the ruh? And look. Yeah. At so the, he said he he made it simpler, and he said, "Look, this is the command from Allah." No, he's this not saying command. This is the first translation. It's this is the correct translation in front of you. He says that this is one of the things of the knowledge which which is of which is only my Lord and and uh, have knowledge of it. Nowhere it says. You see, the, the Muslim when they translate, they lie. This is the same verse, by the way, in front of you. Look at the translation here. Yes, This is the translation. This is more one million time more accurate from the translation in, you see in the in the other website. So here it says that the knowledge of the ruh is only from Allah. But they are asking you what is what is the ruh? No, Amr means uh, command. So it says from the commands of Allah. No, it's not from the command of Allah. Nowhere it says from the command of Allah. I mean, Amr, what, does, what does Amr mean? What does Amr no, mean? Amr, Amr, you know, uh, 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 like. Uh, uh, I want to talk to you about Amr. I will talk about to you about a subject, about a topic. Amr can be if I say I give Amr, that's mean I am ordering somebody. But here yeah, it's not saying no. Amr. Here it doesn't say that. It says from Amri Rabbi, which means from the things of Allah, not from the orders. Amri, Amri. What Amri mean? If it, I say to you, things, Amri, things shame, Amri, so Amri, 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 my 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 uh, uh, my problem and your problem. So Amr, Amr can be have many many, but here it have to be as you see. And this is your Muslim translation, not my translation. What does the other translation say? Okay, they ask you concerning the ruh. Say the ruh is one of the things, the knowledge of which is only with my Lord. And of the knowledge you have been given only a little. So Amr yeah, here from Amri Rabbi, it's something something belong to Allah, something only Allah knows. The Bible says. So here, where is the answer? You said uh, Allah did not answer because we will not comprehend. Yeah. So Allah referred back to His hmm. knowledge. He said, Look, "Why? Why know, we cannot comprehend? Okay. Okay. Uh, why He did not say you cannot comprehend?" So that's so that's why he said he said that this no, is the knowledge. No, of no, Allah. no, no. He said or, no. He said this is from the knowledge of Allah. Well, if uh, and you've been given, yeah, it, he says you've been given it, little. Isn't it everything from the knowledge of Allah if He is God? Yeah, but it's it's it's, it's referring back to the that Allah is the all knowledgeable. So what all knowledgeable? And my friend, okay, he's all knowledgeable. That's why we are asking him. We are asking all the knowledgeable. We are not asking the all all idiot. So all knowledgeable, he says to me, I have an answer, but I cannot give it to you. What yeah, it's saying. From the, yeah, it's probably one of the wisdoms that Allah did give him. Okay, so reason. how you how you Muslim you say that the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is Jibreel. I mean, how how it was so easy for you to come and to comprehend suddenly that the word Ruh is Jibreel. And who because here, of the context, because let me context, find the verse. What context? There is nowhere in the context it says this is Jibreel. Yeah, in Surah Maryam, no, uh, it says yeah, she. No. Yeah, in Surah Maryam, it says she placed a screen for them. Uh, mm -hmm. We sent uh, to her our ruh, and he appeared before her in the form of a man in all respects. Okay, so this where, is where it says that this is Jibreel? Yes, yeah, so obviously, uh, we know that the ruh that's being called here is uh, is the angel. 
Okay, but about the Quran. Says, verse, okay, let me ask you. Let Quran. me ask you. Is the angels are a spirit? Um. Yeah, so I, I think that's that's what they're being called. No, no, I'm asking you. I confirm to me. Is the angels are a spirit? Are they spirits? It says here the word ruh refers to the slave and My the friend, messenger. That's not the question. Is the angels are a spirit? Either you say yes or you say no. Um, spirit, what sense? Uh, yeah, now suddenly you do not know spirit. Here we go. We go back to zero. Suddenly spirit is Jibreel. Suddenly spirit is uh, we know it's Jibreel. Suddenly spirit became a man. And now the second we ask you is the angel Jibreel is, a, uh, Jibreel is an angel. Okay. When you uh, when you say that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit, isn't it obvious that you are considering Jibreel a spirit? I mean, in Arabic, is the word is used ruh. I don't so care. No, no. It yeah. says ruh. Yeah. I'm asking you now. So when you call Jibreel, you say you claim that he is the Holy Spirit. Aren't you saying clearly that he is a spirit? Yeah, he's a spirit. Yeah. Okay, so how you explain this verse for me? Which verse? Chapter seventy-eight, verse number thirty-eight. Chapter what? Seventy-eight, verse number thirty-eight. Chapter seventy-eight, verse number eighty, verse number what? Three thirty-eight. The day that the spirit and the angels will stand in rows. Mm. Um, yeah, so even here it's, it refers to the you know the um, Jibrail. So he here uh, obviously the angels mentioned as well, but it's highlighting that the because angel Jibrail he's the he's the highest ranking angels. No, so he, he's no, the no, most no, highest no, ranking no, 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 angels. No, 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 no. It says the angels, all of them, the angels. When you say the angels, it means the angels and the spirit. The spirit. Yeah. This is not about. This is if if the angels are all of them. They are the spirit. Then we cannot say and the spirit. If Jibril is the only one is a spirit, that means he is not an angel. So either you say all the angels are a spirit, and that will make the verse wrong, or you say only Jibril is a spirit, and that will not make him an angel. To say the angels and the spirit, that's mean that's mean that they are angels, and he is a spirit. As simple as that. If we say the cats and the dogs, that means those are cats and those are dogs. Otherwise, we do not put and between them and we don't differentiate. The second we say the angels and the spirit, it means those are angels and this is a spirit. They are not one. Yeah, um, from my understanding, it was that um, it's highlighting the angel Jibrail. The, my when friend, he says he cannot for... highlight him. I cannot highlight him because by saying if, uh, if Jibrail is a spirit, yeah, it's, it's my, a title, friend, my friend, it? hold on, hold on. If Jibreel is the is a spirit, is he an angel or not? Yeah, he is. Okay, then I say to you, when you say Jibreel the Holy Spirit, you that's mean that he is an angel. He is a spirit. That's mean all the angels are a spirit. Yeah, but it's a title. So if if for example, if Allah wants to use a certain title for no, uh, a being, no, and then mention no, all no, the general no, angels. No, no, hold on. All what he mentioned here is the word ruh. He did not even mention the ruh Qudus. He just said ruh. Yeah, that's fine. What's wrong? Okay. With that? Thank you very much. So, how we know that the word ruh is about the angel uh, Jibreel? How you come with this? The Messiah, the, the, Messiah the, the Messiah, the Messiah is Ruhullah, isn't he? Read it. Yeah. Okay. So you better you better go to Jesus, the Spirit of Allah, Ruhullah. This is exactly the word in Arabic, Ruhullah. Do you see it? Says Ruhullah, correct? Uh, let me have a look at your screen. Yeah. Okay. As long as Jesus is the Ruh of Allah, and then you say to me that Jibreel is a spirit of Allah, that means Jesus too is an angel. When I ask you how you know that this is in Jibreel, you said because the spirit of he is the spirit of Allah, he is the Holy Spirit. How you know that? You said to me, he appeared to Mary as a man. Okay, that's wonderful. Here, the one who is called Ruhullah, by name, only Jesus, Jibreel, never been called Ruhullah. 
in the verse I showed you, it says the angels and the spirit. Okay, Jesus is a spirit. Mm. You want to contact your Sheikh so he can call me? Oh, they're very busy. He's busy, huh? Okay. Very, uh, busy. very busy. Any answer, my friend? No. Okay, and uh, I will ask you here something we ask nobody answer to. Why Jesus only called Spirit of Allah? You see, as he, as you see here, this is, this is a title for him. Muhammad is not called the Spirit of Allah. Adam is not Spirit of Allah. Moses are not Spirit of Allah. He is the only one Jesus called the Spirit of Allah, and he is his word. Why? Yeah, so the the word is obviously when Allah says be and it was. No, no, it cannot be. It cannot be, my friend, because if that be and it was, it's mean Adam is spirit of Allah too. <laughs> because the Quran says the similarity between Jesus and Adam that Allah he said to him be and he was. So if that will make Jesus be, that's mean Adam is be. But as you see, this is only a title only for Jesus in Islam. There's nobody in Islam has a name, such a name. Spirit of Allah and the word of Allah. I mean, when Allah is saying that, uh, you know, Isa Islam, he's, he's like Adam. The, the comparison that's, that's been given is that, look, Isa Islam, he's got a, my friend, he's, he only got a mother. My friend, and, uh, no, no. Adam listen, Islam's listen, 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 focus with me. If Adam, Adam, I will go with you. If the word be is the word of Allah, correct? Okay. And if Adam, if Adam is be and he was, that mean Adam and the Messiah, they share the same title, Spirit of Allah and the Word of Allah. Why only Jesus in Islam has such a title? Can you find me a hadith where it says Adam is the Spirit of Allah and the Word of Allah? No. The Muslim, they call Jesus, Ya Ruhullah, O Spirit of Allah, O Ruh of Allah. Oh, yeah, so Allah, Allah. Allah created the Allah created the ruh. My so friend, no, no. It, you see, here cases. we go. If Allah created the ruh, that means all of us we are ruh of Allah, and that will make Muhammad look silly because he gave this title only to Jesus. Imagine all of us we have a blood, <laughs> and then you say to me the one with the blood, but all of us we have a blood. That would be silly. Yeah, but it, with with Isa Islam, it was, it was a miracle. So that's this why. It's not the story. It's not. We're talking about how he how he was uh, came to existence. He's a miracle. I agree. Jesus is a miracle because God is a miracle. But here we find that he was called the Spirit of Allah only him. He was called the Word of Allah only him. So why he is called the Word of Allah of all of us who are the Word of Allah? If all of us Word of Allah, that means this is this is a silly statement to call him such a th thing. When you say, when you, you call somebody by such a title, this is not a name, this is a title. That means only him, he has it. Interesting. Do we agree? Um, no, I need when you to call, when you call When you call Muhammad, Muhammad, that's for a reason. There's only him is Muhammad, correct? Otherwise, all yeah, of I mean, us are Muhammad. Yeah, that's his name. Okay, yeah, so, that's his name. No, no, that's not his name. This is his title. Muhammad is not a name. This is what the Quran says in different verses. He's Ahmad. Right? Yeah, he's got uh, plenty of names. Uh, this, so here we go. So that that's confirmed that this is not a name. This is a title. Muhammad, he called himself the praised one because he's trying to be God, because only God should be the praised one, not a man. Muhammad, obviously, he's a kafir. He tried to take over to, to take over God, claiming he's a servant of God, but yet his name is Muhammad, which means the praised one. Do you believe in the praised one Allah or the praised one Muhammad? I mean, people are praiseworthy as well. No, like, no, know, my friend. He wrong. says his name is the praised one, not praiseworthy. And why are you praiseworthy of a man? Praiseworthy only is God. There's no man to be praiseworthy. All even your prophet he says, every son of an Adam is a sinner. How you how you can be praise praiseworthy and you are a sinner? Even the Quran says that Muhammad was a big time sinner. So how he no, can he's not a sinner. Allah forgive his past sins in the future sins. He says okay, that hold on, Quran, guys. So. Did, did you hear it? Allah he forgave his past and his coming sin. So how he is not a sinner if Allah forgive his past and his coming? Forgiving sin will not make you not a sinner, my friend. That's silly. Thank you very much for saying that. If Allah forgive his past and his coming, that not only make him a sinner, that make him a bad sinner because that's mean after he became a prophet, still he is doing the same thing as before he became a prophet. Correct? Yeah, 
No, no, that's not true. So why Allah is forgiving his past and his coming sin? So he, he's got no sins. So Allah forgives all, like basically. How you can forgive yeah. him sin if you have no sin? Mm. Imagine I have no dirt, but you want to clean me from my dirt, but I have no dirt. Sin is the same as a dirt over the body of a human being and his soul. So when he say I forgive your sin in the past, that means there is a sin in the past. Otherwise, Allah is being silly and being stupid here. For you cannot forgive something not to be forgiven. You have to commit a crime to forget about forgive about the crime. So Allah here is giving an open license for Muhammad, saying to him, You were a sinner before, no problem. I forgive your sin in the past. And not only that, go ahead and do as much sin as you wish. And the funny, the Muslim they say that one of the Pope he gave a forgiving sin paper for his believers if they pay money. But the fact this is Islam. Islam is promising you that Allah will forgive your sin if you pay him money. Is that correct, my friend? Pay him money? Yeah, if you pay Allah money, to, if you pay, if no, you, Allah can, if you give, give without it. No, if you give, if you give a mortgage to Allah, if you give a loan, which means Muhammad, you will take the money. Allah will forgive your sin, granted. Yeah, but Allah also can forgive just like that. So. No, no, no. He will go. He make it clear that Allah He forgive those who give Him money. I mean, Surah Zumar it says Allah forgives all sins. Okay, uh, except the one who commit shirk and Muhammad was a mushrik, right? No, he was a careful. Let's not change the topic. Allah forgive all sin. That's funny. Muhammad he says many things about forgiving sin. If you touch the, 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 the black stone in the corner of Yemen in the Kaaba, Allah forgive your sin too. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, how how touching stones will forgive your sin? Yeah, Allah made as means for us to get forgiven. Yeah, yeah, but I'm I'm asking you how touching a stone will forgive your sin. That's that's the most. This is not only pagan. This is evil because I can be a rapist, I can be a criminal, I can be a child molester, and then I go, I touch those corners, and that's it. My sin is forgiven. Be careful with me. Chapter sixty-four, verse number seventeen. If you lend Allah a goodly loan, He will double uh, uh, double it for you, and He will forgive you. You Muslims believe in a pagan God. You can give him some money, and He forgive your sin. Yeah, so when Allah, Allah saying that whatever charity you're going to do, uh, Allah will repay that back to you in the hereafter. He's so not whatever talking about you will pay back to you. Yeah. First of all, first of all, all, how Muslim they say that Allah will ghani you, al -ghani, or the rich, Allah the rich. Okay, yeah, why he is asking for a yeah, loan? Yeah. Why Allah is asking for a loan? So, so this is just highlighting that basically Allah will return it back to us. In the it's hereafter. not a question. Why Allah he need a loan? He is the, he's the rich. He have he owns the whole universe. He doesn't need a loan. Okay, no, it says if you lend Allah alone. So, so the, the the loan part is that you give you give towards Allah, Allah will uh, give it back to you. It's not okay, that. It's not, I'm asking you, know. you. I'm asking you. Uh, Allah will not be victorious to spread Islam unless we give Muhammad a loan. Allah cannot, no, this is Allah cannot this, give this a victory. Is Allah cannot give a victory to his prophet unless we give him a money, and that is a loan for Allah, and He will double it for us. So, no, this, okay, let, let me let me let, about let, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Law. Does does Muhammad he claim that believing in Islam is the same as a business? What do you say? Does Muhammad claim that believing in Allah is a business? Um, where does he say that? Let's look at the context. So, so I am asking you, does he say that or not? You never heard this before? Um, I heard something similar to it, but I can't remember. I'm asking you, did you hear this before or not? Not exactly that. Hmm. What the word tijara mean in Arabic? Yeah, trade, business. Uh, okay. This is the Quran, the chapter 61, verse number 10. Islam is a business. Tijara. Not only is it a tijara, actually, it's a commerce, commercial. Should I, oh, you believe? Shall I show you a commercial that will save you from the painful doom? Even speaking about his God, he is speaking about it as a commercial. No, so what's Allah saying that? Allah saying that, look, shall I show you a trade? Or shall I show you a, a I mean, way? What kind of a I trade is trade? So just let, let us listen to this trade. You are saying to me, if you give me money, I will exchange with you going to heaven. Isn't it true that your prophet he promised ten people because they supply him with money to go to heaven? 
And the first one no, is no. Umar ibn Affan. What do you mean? I can show you. No, no, I'm saying not just because of the money. Like obviously because in, of the money, the uh, only thing Uthman yeah, ibn Affan he did, money, Uthman yeah. ibn Affan he did not do in join jihad. He's an old man. The only thing he do, he could just give money. He's a rich man. What about the, all others? Like you said, ten, ten of them. Yes. And you show me all the first ten one, of them that the, the first they all one, gave money. The first one is the one who give money. Yeah, Abu Bakr gave, Umar gave. Okay, let me Uthman ask you. Gave, who is yeah, Muhammad? So. Who uh, Abu Bakr? He gave him money to. Isn't it Bilal? Is a gift, a slave to Muhammad? This is money. All of them they gave him money. Uh, Abu Bakr gave what? Slave? Yeah, uh, Bilal is owned by uh, Abu Bakr. He gave him to Muhammad as a him. gift. Yeah. No, no, he freed, he freed him. No, 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 no. He did not free him. No, he did not free him. And so, secondly, he gave him to him as Muhammad never has freed Bilal. As simple as that. Secondly, Abu Bakr, Abu Abu Bakr, Bakr is the one who bought uh, Bilal, Bilal and Bilal was serving who? Was serving Muhammad, not Abu, Abu Bakr, correct? So he gave him money. He is bribing him. In the narration, is mentioned that. Uh, Bilal was freed by Abu Bakr. Where it says that? Because he was getting tortured. No, my friend. No, he did not free. He bought him. He was a slave of somebody else. He bought him. And then Bilal... Yeah, he bought him. Then yes, him, yeah. okay. So he did not free him. And, and Bilal, even he complained after Muhammad, he died. He said, he said to him, if you bought me for the sake of Allah, free me for the sake of Allah. If you bought me for yourself, will keep me for yourself. Yeah, I've, uh, if you look in Google, it says my friend. I don't, I don't care for Google. I'm, I'm a Bakr Christian. I am a Christian prince. What Google? Here we go. This is Bilal. Say to Abu Bakr, if you have brought me, bought me for yourself, and then keep me for yourself. But if you bought me for the sake of Allah, well, really, let me, let me for the sake of Allah. So this is Bilal complaining. Like, oh, okay, oh, you know, you claim that you are a good believer, and here we go. I converted to Islam, and you don't want to free me. If we learn, no, there's, if an if there was an incident that took place. Uh, My friend, I, I he did not free him. Either, that, but there was a he, incident he, that happened. He bought him. He did not free him. He bought him and he came up and slave. That's why the guy is asking Abu Bakr to free him. He's begging him, free me. Now, we go back a little bit. So now what we will do with Jesus being called the Spirit of Allah and the Word of Allah. What we will do with this? Nothing is a, you know, Allah created the spirit and he's the word. Mm -hmm. No, this is the question. Why Muhammad is not called? Okay, Muhammad have a spirit too. I have a spirit too. You have a spirit too. Okay, but only Jesus in Islam, his name, title is Ruhullah wa Kalimatahu. Only Jesus. Either this is a mistake in the uh, mythology of Islam and contradiction because here and now we notice that Jibreel, according to you, is a spirit too. No, I mean, I mean, if you think about it, uh, Baytullah, you know, house of Allah, that's, uh, you know, that's been said as well. But, you know, all the uh, mosques around the world, they, they no, are Baytullah no, as well. No, no, it's no, 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 hold on, hold on, um, hold on. First of all, the word bait is a pagan statement. They started from the from the Aramaic, where they used to make a, 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 a bait for uh, their pagan god. You know, they uh, they slaughter there, they do things. Abraham, he is coming from a pagan society. You Muslims, you believe that Abraham, who was a, from a pagan society, and he was a pagan himself, he is the one who built the bait, correct? Yeah, he built the mosque. Yeah. Okay, but the fact this is not true because according to your Islamic reference, the one who built the mosque, it was not Abraham; it was the angels. No, from the Quran, it's uh, Ibrahim and some that built no, it. You can friend, find that. No, my friend. Surah no, no, my friend. No, Abraham in the Quran. Uh, he just raised the the house. So that's building, isn't it? It was destroyed. No, it was not built by Abraham. It was destroyed. He rising the foundation of the house. He did not make a foundation. He did not. Yeah, some say, yeah, some say Adam Islam built here. Okay. So, so Adam, so yeah. you see, you, you see how Muslims are funny. A second ago, it was Abraham. After two seconds speaking to me, you agree it is Adam. But Adam is not the one. No. 
Adam is not no, no, the one who built the Kaaba. Adam, 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 some scholars say Adam is not built the foundations of the Kaaba. No, 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 no. no, no. Scholar, no scholar, my friend, no scholar say Adam is the one who built the Kaaba. The one who built the Kaaba, according to you. That's because the second you go to, uh, to uh, this Adam story, we have to go to the story. You will find that Allah, he uh, told Adam, uh, Allah, uh, where Allah he sent Adam? When he came down from heaven, where he sent him? Um, can't remember. What do you mean, can't remember? He, he was separate from Hawa. I know, um, but he sent he sent down where? I don't know what place it was. Is is? Hmm. Uh, I don't know what, what place it was. Is it uh, Sri Lanka now, which is India? Don't know. Okay. Let us show some reference, if you don't mind. Hmm. You know Arabic, right? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. I want you to read with me, please. I'm going to put it in the screen. And let me make it show all of it. Uh, all right. Read carefully. Allah said to Adam, what? Can you read or you want me to read for you? Uh, you can read it. I sent down to you uh, something so you can go and circle around it as they circle around my, my throne. So Allah now, there's people that th they or angels, they are circling around the throne. So uh, Adam, he came all the way from India, walking. <laughs> and this is specifically Sri Lanka. How Adam can walk in the sea. Let it go. And then in his reception was the angels waiting for him. And then they said to him, Barra hajjuka ya Adam. Your, your, your hajj, your privilege is, is blessed, Adam. And did we did hajj to this house before you, 2,000 years before you. And Adam, he did hajj to the house of Allah, which means the Kaaba, from India all the way to Mecca in his feet. And, and then Allah, he... Uh, 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 he, he, he raised the house in the time of the flood of Noah to the fourth sky and this is why it's called Al Baytul Ma'mur, the house which is built and then Allah he said to Abraham, he ordered Abraham to rebuild and Jibreel he told him where it was, the location of the house the original house rebuild, not build, alright and uh, and then it says that Allah He sent uh, uh, like a cloud to shade him during the time he's working, and then uh, He it took him five generations of of mankind to build the house. And then look here what it says with me: Why the black stone is black stone? Do you know? Uh, because of the sins of mankind. What does that mean? So it used to be white, and then because of the sins of mankind, is it? Uh, it, it turned the color. Okay, what is the sin? When we say sin, what does that mean? It's a uh, wrong action. Wrong action. Read with me carefully here. This is your Muslim, you know. It says, Abu Qubais. Abu Qubais is a little tiny, we cannot call it mountain really. It's like a hill next to uh, Mecca, the, the Kaaba, very close to the Kaaba. And Allah, he hide the black stone inside it, inside the belly of this mountain or mount. And it was uh, made from white pearl. From heaven, but when the blood of women period touch it during the time of ignorance, he became black. What the blood of women touching the black stone? So what's this, this tafsir? This this is tafsir. This is tafsir. This is your Islamic website. This is Kitab al Hawi fi Tafsir al Quran. And who wrote that? At how we just search it, all right. So, the blood of women made it black. Why? Because the pagan Arab before Islam, women who don't get they cannot have baby, it's what they do, they think they commit sin, they have sin. Why we're not commit? why we are not having baby? Obviously, we commit sin. Baal is not fertilizing us. So, what they do, they go and they put their they go naked 
Is it true that the Arab, they used to go naked around the Kaaba or I'm lying? The Arab pagans used to, not the Muslims. Okay, no, no problem. Here we go. But the Arab pagan, they used to do that even in the time of Muhammad. But here you notice, and even after he took over Mecca, then here you notice that the women are touching their vagina and they have a period and they are naked. So they are naked here. Should it, did you ask yourself why people, what, what, is, what is the religion they are practicing to walk naked around the Kaaba? What is that religion? Did you ask yourself this question? Yeah, that's the that's whatever religion they had. Okay, I'm asking you, what is that religion? Obviously, it's a sexual religion, right? To walk naked. And then the women, they touch their vagina when they have their period, specifically when they have their period, and then they place it inside the black stone. Did you ask yourself what is the connection between the black stone and women placing their hand inside the inside uh, in, the, in their vagina and then they place it in the black stone and that's supposed to will make them pregnant? Because this is a pagan religion. No, the, the understanding behind that was uh, the Arab pagans. The, no the, problem. But the, the understanding Islam, was my that friend, hold on, you want to be naked you see, because uh, Allah created like this. No, you have the same understanding. You are the one who just a second ago you said to me that the black stone was white and became a black because of sin. You just said that to me. You carry that from the pagan Arab. The pagan Arab, they believe that when they touch their vagina and then the men come after that and they, they, they chuff their, their, their penis inside the black stone and they touch the same blood of the women, that will fertilize the women. So you are carrying the same method, but you don't, you cut the rest of the story. You, you yourself, you cut only part of the story. What? You, you cut the part where it says the black stone was white and became a black. Because of what? Because of sin. Exactly what the Arab, it says in the front of us here. Because of the sin, because of the sin, and actually here we go, this is your Islamic scar saying, because the women touch their vagina and they have a blood in their hands and they are touching the black stone. Islam, so friend, Islam, Islam is nothing but a pagan religion, is a carry on of what previous before, and Muhammad collect. You know, he, 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 there's people believe in someone, his name is Abraham. Okay, Abraham, we join. Alexander the Great, we make him part of Islam. Uh, 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 I mean, uh, name it, anyone. A Sabian, Sabian worship stars. How Sabian, they will go to heaven. How Sabian, they will go to heaven. They worship stars. How in the world you say to the Sabian, they will go to heaven? Hmm. Sabian, I don't know what they are. Sabian, they worship stars and you go to your prophet Gogol. Anyway, my friend, thank you for calling. And maybe next time you can get your scholar to call us or your sheikh. Maybe he can do better. All right. Thank you. All right. Okay. So as you see, Islam is a collection of stupidity and no Muslim have an answer. No Muslim have an answer. And the funny, each time I talk to a Muslim, he says, I never heard this before. I never heard this before. Where it says that? I never heard this before. Islam is not, is not even a religion. Islam is like a, you know, like a, 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 a dumpster for garbage. And everybody throw his garbage there. And then after that, we, we, we make it recycle. And you can imagine all the colors will come from the plastic inside, the nylon, uh, uh, you know, uh, whatever is inside. It's a recycle. Muhammad, he recycles all other beliefs and he claimed that this is a religion of Allah. It's called Islam. Even the word Islam is a theft. He took it from a guy, he's, the Muslim, they call him Musaylama to make fun of him. Even the word Ar-Rahman is a, is a, is a theft. <clears throat> First time Muhammad, he used the word uh, Rahman, it was almost, he have already more than 50% of the Quran. And then the people, they said to him, who, who is this Rahman? Oh, Muhammad, he worshiped now two gods. He used to worship Allah, and now he is worshiping a Rahman. <laughs> but if you go in the front of every verse in the Quran, you will see it says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. But Muhammad, obviously, the Quran says, Muhammad never used that name before. So how it, how it, how it appear today in the front of every verse in the Quran? Every chapter starts with Rahman ar-Rahim. 
when Muhammad did not mention that until half of his religion is delivered already they ask him they call upon Allah or call upon the Rahman by whatever name you call him all the names belong to good names belong to Allah so they were asking him how what who's who's a Rahman and not only that they say to him the only know of a person who worship a God his name is a Rahman is uh, the guy who call himself Rahman al Yamama Musaylama Muhammad he stole the name from Musaylama Musaylama he sent him a letter according to Muslims and he said to him in the name of a Rahman since then Muhammad he starts saying a Rahman <laughs> Muhammad is nothing but a scam. If you remember when Muhammad was praying, you remember the story when Muhammad was praying and a Jewish guy he passed by. Look how easy to get a, a false prophet busted. The Messenger of Allah used to stand up for a funeral until the crops was placed in the grave. A learned Jew, Jew which means a rabbi, learned Jew means a rabbi, passed by him and said, This is how we do it. What? This is all what he said. All what he said, this is how we do it. Nothing more, nothing less. So the guy he said, This is how we do it. Muhammad immediately he says, Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, act differently. So all this time you are praying as Allah told you to pray, just because a guy, is is that a prayer you learned from Jibreel or this prayer you fabricated yourself, you are copying the Jews? So Muhammad now, he, he because he feel guilty, he knew he's a thief. Right away, he is willing to change the way he pray. But you are praying like this for a while now. Just because the guy he said to he, to you, this is how we do it. You change it? What if Muhammad was cleaning his ass with the toilet paper and the Jew, he said to him, this is how we do it. What if Muhammad was uh, uh, eating uh, from his mouth and the Jew, he said, this is how we do it. If Muhammad is a prophet of God, he been taught how to pray by God. If you ask the Muslims who taught Muhammad how to pray, they will say Jibreel. Okay, Jibreel taught him how to pray. That's wonderful. So why he said act differently? What about he said to him? So what? This is how this is how it is. I know. I will answer the spirit thing. Yes. Oh. Uh, what? I will answer the spirit. You will answer the spirit. I, what about answer yeah. me about uh, why why your prophet he says sit down? What other guy he said to yeah, him? But, this okay, is how wait. we do it. I I found I found a manuscript of the Sahih Bukhari uh -huh. and it talks about spirit. Okay, what is the manuscript says? It's funny oh, when you so say so manuscript. There is no book of Sahih Bukhari even as exists. How do you call it manuscript? <laughs> Just see. Hmm. I took a screen. Read it in Arabic, please. Hmm. It doesn't open anything. Here we go. I click at your link, nothing open. What? My friend, don't waste my time. Just give me the thing and, you know, what, what? I click at your link, nothing open. Here we go. The page open in front of me and there's nothing. What? Bunch of kids. So the guy he said to him this is how we do it and right away we change how we do it just because somebody said to him this is how we do it obviously this person is a false man if I'm a prophet of God and God taught me how to pray that's it so what if he said to me this is how we do it but because he felt guilty because he knew he is a thief you see when you are a thief 
if you see the the if you hear the the sound of a police car you think maybe they're coming to me because okay well I am I am guilty right I don't sleep comfortable when I hear that sound because I know that I'm maybe they're coming for me maybe, maybe maybe not for me maybe for me so Muhammad the second the Jew he said to him this is how we do it Muhammad was willing and making a decision immediately saying act differently how you can act differently and why so what if you said this is why we do it the Muslim they say to us that Muhammad is a the uh, Musa was a Muslim Jesus was a Muslim okay so if you pray the same as the Jews you can say well we are uh, you know from the same God like you right you do not need to change it but because he knew he is a stealing he is copying and now he got busted so he said to them act differently are we following <clears throat> imagine Jesus saying to us pray like this and then a Jew he walked by he says to Jesus this is how we do it Jesus he said sit down sit down sit down act differently <laughs> This is how we do it, Prophet, Prophet. This is how we do it, Prophet. Look what the guy said. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. That, that, that. I mean, let us have uh, some uh, disco music here. The guy, he just said, this is a song. It's called This is How We Do It. Just by saying this is how we do it, you change the religion? garbage in garbage out i hope you guys you enjoyed your time here thank you for being here don't forget to download the video and save it into your reference upload it in different uh, places because what we share with you is a priceless and it is some of what we know not all very little tiny about this cult but the sum is too much too many because i mean you people will have a very hard time to find those references we gave you and we share with you and we explain it to you. So please download the video. So one day the video will be gone. And yes, there's people that are downloading my videos, but there's no guarantee they will have it too. So download it. Even if you don't want to have it in YouTube, you can save it in your computer. It teach you, educate you, and make you able to answer the Abdul. And if you are Abdul, I advise you to download it too. Because it teach you and show you how silly Islam is Islam cannot be from God proven over and over it's a silly cult made by a man who have no knowledge of anything trying to make himself to appear like he is a prophet of God by fabricating by lying by misquoting and by misreading he don't even know how to read things the Muslim they say Muhammad was illiterate I say yes he was illiterate but not about reading and writing, he was illiterate about God. And this is what the Quran says. Illiteracy is about illiteracy about, about and you Muslims, all of you are illiterate. You do not know what spirit is, you do not know what soul is, you do not know what are you talking about, and you have no idea what is Islam is about. If we ask a Muslim who is Allah, he do not know. All what he said to us, he is the creation a creator. If we ask him what Allah, the word Allah mean, if you remember Dr. Ruhi from Azhar University, he says to me, uh, we do not know what the word Allah means. Uh, there is an Arab guy. He is the first one who said Allah, but we do not know him. <laughs> Arab guy. <laughs> nice to meet you, Arab guy. Nice to meet you. This is a religion. Let us guess. This is a religion based on let us guess. Please don't forget to, to forget to subscribe to this uh, website, minds.com. I have uh, my page there, so always you can have uh, uh, communication with me as a backup. And uh, for those who speak Spanish, soon my book in Spanish will be uh, in Amazon. Maybe in 48 hours from now. So if you speak Spanish, please uh, tell your friends about this book. It's, it's very well done as a translation. And if you are a person who uh, 
uh, like to know more we have many books for for you to read sex and a lot the topic is about sex um, you know uh, we have a German translation for the session of Allah uh, we have a French translation which is very good the secret the Prophet Arab and then we have Quran and science which is getting the Abdul busted about their lies about what they call science and the Quran and actually both books uh, uh, deception of Allah and, and the Quran and science they they should suppose the it's a one book I made them two books but because the major topic in the second book about science so I call it I decide to call it uh, science and Quran uh, or Quran and science uh, but uh, both of them they supposed to be one book and to help you not only to refute Islam but to destroy Islam my friend Islam is the most silly stupid cult you cannot imagine how silly it is they try to fool you because you don't speak the language we are from there we are the best who speak Arabic all the five point which is made in the history of Arabia which nobody can make like it is made by five Arab Christians five Arab Christians the best poetry in the history of Arabia not like the city Quran which is nothing but a saja which is nothing but like uh, somebody trying to make a rap and music but does not make any sense yesterday I saw a fat and I mean by that the rat but there's no connection between this and that and I'm just trying to tell you about my God a lot who is big and not holy and he have a small or big belly because we never saw him we never know him and I have no answer more than that here we go we make for you Quran and this is very much for being here may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord Islam is false and until we see you again God bless take care